Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. I'm a guest designer once again on the Coffee Loving Card Makers blog, and I've decided to share a Cricut project with you. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable acetate bookmarks using your Cricut machine and some adhesive vinyl. Like most of my Cricut projects, I will be using a combination of Cricut and card making supplies. I have a few patterned papers here, a sunflower die, a coffee stamp, some acetate, and I'll be grabbing some adhesive vinyl from my collection. In Cricut Design Space, I'm going to show you how to use the slice tool to create a coffee bean background. And I'm also going to show you how to cut out the vinyl and acetate and how to apply the vinyl onto the acetate bookmarks. Let's head into Cricut Design Space and start creating an adorable coffee bookmark. I'm going to start by inserting a basic square shape and resizing it to two inches wide by seven inches high. Now I'm going to go to my Design Space library and grab this image, which is designed for the mug press, and bring it into the design. Instead of resizing this image to fit, I'm going to use the slice tool to take out a portion of the image I want to use. I'm going to start by duplicating my rectangle shape. I have changed the color of this to make it easier for you to see, and I'm going to move it to the back. I'm going to drag the coffee bean image to the rectangle and move it around and resize it until I have the look that I want. Once it's in place, I'm going to select the two images and click on the slice tool in the lower right hand corner. Now I have multiple images that have been sliced from these two shapes, and I'm going to delete all of the images I don't need. And now you can see here that I have a set of coffee beans for the background in the shape of our bookmark. Now at this point, there are no lines around all of those coffee bean images to cut out a rectangle. So I need to duplicate my rectangle once again to create the vinyl image. The rectangle on the canvas right now is for my acetate. I'm going to click on that rectangle and select duplicate, and then I'll center the coffee bean image and one of the rectangles. Now I can attach the coffee bean background to the rectangle, and I have my images to cut from vinyl and my image to cut from acetate. If you're a Cricut novice and feeling like this went a little too fast, I do have a Cricut Basics course you might enjoy. I'll add a link to that in the description below. Now I'm going to save this design and cut it out from my acetate and adhesive vinyl. I'm going to click on Make It, then continue to go to Material Settings. For this first image, I'm going to be cutting it out of vinyl. So I'm going to select Premium Vinyl for the material, then place the vinyl on my mat and cut out the image. The second image is going to be cut from acetate. So I'm going to click on the Material Options, choose Acetate, and set the default to More. Now I'm going to load the acetate onto the mat and cut out the bookmark. Using my Cricut, I have cut my acetate bookmark and I have the adhesive vinyl cut and ready to weave. I also have gathered a few other items for this project. I have a stamped image that I have shaded using some markers, a layered sunflower cut from patterned paper, and two leaf images. I'm going to start with weeding the adhesive vinyl and applying it to the acetate. I'm going to remove all the unwanted pieces from the backing sheet. Then I'm going to use transfer tape to remove the vinyl from the backing sheet so that I can adhere it to the acetate. The acetate has a protective sheet over the front and back, so I do need to remove that before I adhere the vinyl in place. I'm going to be using some wax paper to help me line all of this up on the acetate. I am speeding this process up quite a bit, but in my basics class, I share a few different tips to help you with adhering vinyl to your projects. 
All right, now we are going to assemble the sunflower. I have cut a complete set of layers for the sunflower and an additional back layer, which I cut backwards. I basically placed the die on the opposite side of the paper so that it would be a mirror image of the larger layer. I'm going to sand the edges to distress them and shape the petals a bit with my fingers as I layer these designs. The three front layers are going to be adhered together with some thin foam tape, and I'm going to adhere the center pieces in place, then I'll add those adorable little coffee cups I shaded. Aren't those just too cute in the center of this sunflower? Now that this is adhered in place, I'm going to attach this to the top of the acetate. I'm using a strong double-sided tape to adhere the sunflower and leaves in place. Now I'm going to flip the bookmark over and adhere that mirrored layer to the back. This just helps hide the adhesive and finishes off the project. This acetate bookmark is a fun one that you can recreate using any papers, stamps, or floral elements in your stash. If you're not a Cricut owner, you can use your paper cutter to cut out the acetate and use some dies to cut out some vinyl. Here are a few more bookmarks that I created using that sunflower and some other adhesive vinyl designs. Aren't these just too much fun? The recipient of this bookmark is going to enjoy using this whenever they're sitting with a good book and a cup of coffee. It is such a simple design that can be altered to fit any personality or occasion. And now that I have the project saved in design space, I can pull it up anytime I want and recreate it. If you're looking for more inspiration, make sure you stop by the Coffee Loving Card Makers blog today. The design team there is absolutely amazing. Thank you for joining me today for another project. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies I used today, feel free to post those in the comments below. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.